threw it out. He said, so shall the Son of Man be in the earth and rise again. He said it many times over, but in the midst of trouble, they had forgotten about what he said. Can I share with you today, my brothers and sisters, I don't care what's going on in your life. I don't care what type of pandemic is going on in the world. Don't forget what Jesus has already said. How you going to make it? I'm going to remember what Jesus has already, has already said. So it's time for, my brothers and sisters, it's time for us to understand the importance of every believer of rising to the occasion. We, we've been put on front street. We've been put out to display because the question that is being asked right now by the unbeliever and even by our Savior, what you going to do now that you can't come to the, to the church house? What, what you going to do now when, when they done cut your job off and you have no job? What you going to do now when there's no food in the refrigerator? What you going to do now when you got more month then you do money and the bills are yet still rolling, but you have no income. What you going to do now? Are you going to trust in the Lord and lean not to your own understanding? Or are you going to doubt him? Are you going to believe that all things work together for the good of them who love the Lord? Or are you going to? Wonder if he going to come. Are you going to believe that he may not come when you want him, but he's always on time? Are you going to remember what the old saint said? Are you going to remember that the Lord is yet still ever present no matter what the situation? They had forgotten. But the Lord sent an angel. Sent two standing near the tomb to remind them. Don't you remember what he said? He said that he must die. And on the third day, rise again. He's only done what he said he was going to do. And can I share with you today, my brothers and sisters, every day, I see the Lord doing exactly what he said he would do. When I don't have any food in the refrigerator, some way, somehow, by the end of the day, Sister Curry and I have a meal before our, before our presence. When we, when we don't even have enough money to put gas in the vehicle, some way, somehow, the tank never runs empty. So God is, is yet still doing what he said he was going to do and so now I'm just looking at God and I'm watching what he's doing in the midst of this pandemic I'm watching and seeing what God is doing even though the saint can't congregate on 106 in Glass Street I recognize now that folks are getting on the telephone calling one another making sure that everybody's all right and if everything had gone as it has been, they probably never would have called. But now they're calling, reaching out to one another, checking on one another. This didn't happen by accident, but it caused us to respond in a different manner. It's time for the church to respond. It's time for the church to rise to the occasion. I'm thankful that I see God working through his children. Thank God for placing it on the hearts of those who will here to rise to the occasion and help your fellow man. I thank God for placing in the spirit of his children that even though we can't come to this physical building, yeah, we, we, we've got church on the inside. We, we, are, we are the church. I'm glad that the Lord is is speaking to the heart of every believer. And I pray, my brothers and sisters, that you would listen because had Mary, Joanna, and, and his mother not listened to what was being spoken by the angel, Lord knows what would have happened, but I'm glad that they listened. 
I'm glad that they heard the words of the angels. I'm also glad that they were able to reflect back and remember what the Lord had already said. And once they began to remember, the record is that they went to the apostles and began to spread the good news of the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. When they began to take a minute and reflect on what he already had said. And then began to realize that what he said had come to pass. The Bible said that they ran to the apostles and began to spread the good news. My brothers and my sisters, what does that say to you and I today? In the midst of troubles and trials, in the midst of tribulation, in the midst of even this pandemic that we're experiencing throughout the world today. I come to share with you not to forget what the Lord has already said. He said, Lo, I'll be with you always, even to the end of this age. And that's what we got to know that no matter what we go through, the Lord is right there with us. Can I get a witness out there? Can I get somebody uh, that's viewing this YouTube page today uh, to go ahead and lift your hands uh, and give God some glory uh, and give the Lord some praise because God left us his word to keep us in a time of trouble, uh, to keep us in a time of pandemic. Uh, the Lord has given us his word. Uh, and so the responsibility of every believer uh, that as you remember the words of our Savior, we have a responsibility to spread the good news. Uh, tell somebody uh, that they may tell somebody else uh, that there is uh, a bomb in Gilead. Uh, question was asked, uh, is there a healing? Uh, is there an answer uh, for this pandemic? Uh, uh, is there a cure? Uh, is there any type of medicine uh, that can slow this pandemic down? Uh, take the words of the believer uh, and spread the good news uh, that there is uh, a bomb in Gilead. Uh, his name uh, is Jesus Christ our Lord. Uh, and one Friday uh, on a hill called Calvary, uh, our Savior and our Lord uh, made a way for you and for me uh, when he took nails in his hands, uh, spears in his side, uh, crown of thorns on his brow uh, when he was yet spat on, uh, lied and persecuted uh, even though he had been nailed by his feet uh, to an old rugged cross. Uh, tell the good news uh, that had he not died, uh, had he not suffered, had he not endured the cross and suffered the shame, we would not have the right to the tree of life. But one Friday evening, he stayed on a cross for you and for me. And he died from the sixth to the ninth hour, stayed in a grave three long days. But early uh, Sunday morning, he got up and declared all power was in his hand. I'm glad that he died, but I'm even more so glad that he got up the third day and declared he had all power. And what really gets me excited, not only did he get up, but he still lives because he lives in me. Glory be to God. Praise his holy name. I'm glad I got me somebody in the midst of the pandemic. He's yet still sitting on the throne in the midst of my troubles and trials. He's yet still making a way. Can you bless God this morning for making a way out of no way? Can you bless God today? for keeping you alive can you bless god today 
for being a strong arm in battle. Can you bless God today that you have the opportunity to spread the good news? It's time for the church to rise to the occasion and spread the good news that Jesus rose and he still lives. If you know that he still lives, can I get somebody listening to me right now to open up your mouth and declare in your room, yes, he lives. Yes, he lives. Yes, he lives because he lives in me. I thank God for Resurrection Sunday. I thank God that he still lives. I thank God that early. Sunday morning, he got up and declared on power. Thankful for the stone being rolled away. Thankful for the witnesses. Thankful for the proclamation, the spreading of the good news. Keep on reading because they spread the good news to the apostles. And they yet thought that it was a fairy tale. But they took time to gather themselves together and go to the place where he had been buried and were able to also be eyewitnesses that he no longer rested in the tomb but now he has arisen and they went out spreading the good news so to every believer today continue to spread the good news in the midst of the pandemic in the midst of your struggles and trials still declare that you'll trust in the law you'll keep his commandments spread the good news that the lord still lives and because he lives you can face tomorrow because he lives all fear is gone because he lives life is made sweeter just because he lives i share with you today it's time to rise to the occasion time to spread the good news that even though he did die he rose again not only did he rise but he still lives because he lives in us to the unsaved today that may be listening today is a good day to receive Jesus Christ as your Savior. You, you can do it right now. And, and, and you don't have to come to this building to receive him. You can receive him right in your house. Right now. The Bible says that if you confess with your mouth that you are a sinner, and needs a savior and that if you believe in your heart that he can save you because of what he did one friday died for us if you can believe that he died and then believe that the third day he rose if you can believe in your heart that he still lives and you want him to live in you. Receive him today. Say, Lord, I'm a sinner. And I need you to save me from myself. Say, Lord, I open up my heart to you right now. That you may come in and dwell with me. And I with you. Say, Lord, I want to live a life for you. Come into my heart. Live in me that I may live for you. Won't you do that today? To the saved, hold up the bloodstained banner. In trials, and in the midst of 
trouble. And even in these strange and difficult times, continue to trust in the Lord. Continue to believe in his provision, in his power. Rise to the occasion and share the good news that come what may, I'm going to trust in the Lord. Come what may, I'm going to believe him. Come what may, I'm going to stay with him. It's time to rise to the occasion. He rose that we too may rise. It's time to rise to the occasion. Spread the good news of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters, because he lives, we got another day. We got another opportunity. Don't let that opportunity be wasted without spreading the good news of Jesus Christ. God sent his son they called him Jesus he came to love heal and forgive he bled and died to buy my Pardon an empty grave is there to prove my Savior lives because. 